mountain hikes or waterfall hikes? Which one is better? The truth is they're both good in their own way. In this video, we're gonna compare and contrast both, the positives and negatives of each. Now, it obviously highly depends on what waterfall or mountain hike you do. However, I've found that in general, each one has four of its own benefits. So to start off, the four benefits of hiking mountains. First off, mountains are generally quieter than waterfall hikes. When you're hiking a waterfall, most of the time you're hiking next to a fast moving river and that's usually loud and noisy. Uh, it's fine with me, it's just not as quiet and peaceful as a mountain hike is. In mountains, however, all you normally hear is the peaceful sound of nature without the fast moving water in the background. And it seems that the further up you go, the quieter it gets. The second benefit of a mountain hike is the unbeatable summit view. Regardless of what type of trail you hike, the summit almost always provides a nearly unbeatable view. Don't get me wrong, waterfalls are incredible, but the view from the summit of a mountain is truly next level. Unless there's a swimming hole at the waterfall, most people generally don't stick around any longer than 10 to 15 minutes gazing at the waterfall, even if it's spectacular. But for the peak of the summit at most mountain treks, it's extremely difficult to leave the breathtaking view of the top. The third benefit of hiking mountains is it's always much easier coming down. It's much nicer when you're done with the trail and it's only downhill from there. Waterfall hikes, however, a lot of them are either as hard or you're going down towards the waterfall. So coming back up is a much more difficult trek. When you're at a waterfall and you know that the way back is gonna be just as hard or even more difficult, it's kind of hard to be fully relaxed at the end of that trail, if that makes any sense. Or just this might just be me. I might be the only one who thinks this. But either way, third benefit of hiking a mountain is the hardest is already finished and it's only downhill from there. And the fourth benefit of hiking mountains is there's almost always fewer snakes than waterfall hikes. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> if you hate snakes, just know that the overwhelming majority of my snake encounters were waterfall hikes since they usually hang around the water. Some mountain hikes might have a little stream at the base, but rarely up at the mountain. So those are the four benefits of hiking mountains. They're quieter and more peaceful because there's not running water. The summit view, which is unbeatable. The hardest is finished when you're at the top, so coming down is easy and less snakes. And I don't know if you care about that benefit or not. Um, some people do, a lot of people do. And next, here are the four benefits that I have found from walking on waterfall trails. First one are swimming holes and playing within the falls. Many waterfall hikes have either a swimming hole or give you the ability to play within or around the falls. Some even have a rope swing. Especially if you love playing in the water in the summertime, most waterfall hikes give you the option where mountain hikes definitely do not. If you haven't swum in a natural swimming hole or cove near a waterfall, there's something about it that's so much more enjoyable and rewarding than a standard swimming pool. The second benefit of waterfall hikes they usually have more split off trails that lead to unique areas or landmarks. If you watch our videos, you'll know what we mean by landmarks. So many mountain trails do have split offs that lead to cool landmarks, but in general, waterfall trails usually provide more split offs that either lead to unique landmarks, hidden coves, or many waterfalls. Therefore, if you want to explore a little bit more than just the standard path of the hike, there are generally more split off trails that you will find on waterfall hikes. Benefit number three from waterfall hikes, they're much easier in colder temperatures. If you hate the cold but still want to hike, waterfall hikes are a better option for two reasons. One, it's much easier to find a shorter waterfall trail than a mountain trail. That's if you don't want to hike in the cold for a very long time. And two, the further up a mountain you go in the winter, the colder it gets, which sucks. Especially if you hate the cold like me, 
Going up a mountain in the cold sucks. And benefit four for waterfall hikes is that they're generally easier to bring your kids or dogs. Not all, but many waterfall hikes are easier for both dogs and kids. Not only is a steep incline going up a mountain and descent back down difficult for dogs and kids, but also the rocky terrain could be challenging. I usually see more dogs on waterfall hikes than mountain trails. And as I touched upon previously, it's also easier to find a shorter waterfall hike than a mountain hike, in case your dog or kids prefer shorter miles. So to summarize that, waterfall hikes, more swimming holes, more split offs, better for cold temperatures, and easier for kids and dogs. But in the end of the day, just do them both. Hiking mountains are usually free. Hiking waterfalls are usually free. God is real because hiking is free. Get the shirt in the link below. Wow, that was smooth. <laughs> and if you're new here, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Have a blessed day.